Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif Ali with another tutorial on the Curio Control UTM. In this video, I will show you how you can activate the unregistered version of the Curio Control UTM to a fully registered one. There are two methods to register the Curio Control. First is online and the second method is by importing the offline license file. To start the registration, first open your browser. Log into the administration panel. This is the configuration assistant menu. Click the close button. In the dashboard menu, you can see under license style, it says that Kirio control is unregistered and trial version. To register the Kirio control, Click on the register button. The first method is the online activation. Currently, the Kirio control is testing the internet connectivity, which is required for the online activation. Here, it's asking me to set up the internet connectivity in order to perform the online activation. Select the interface. Select the IP mode, whether it's static or IP. Mine is static, so I will go with the static IP option. Enter the IP address. Enter the subject mask. Enter the gateway. And enter the DNS server. After you have entered all the values, click on the next button. Again, Kiryu Control is testing the internet connection. Kiryu Control is asking, how do you plan to use the Kiryu Control? If you have a license file, choose the first option, which is I will use a commercial or NFR license. If you want to try it as a trial, select the second option. I will show you both license and trial mode. When you select the license option, it will ask you to enter the license or buy a new license from the Kirio online store. If you have the license, select the enter license option. It's preparing for the registration. Enter the license number and then for security purposes, enter the security code then click on the next button. Your Kirio Control UTM will be activated. The second option which I told you about is the offline mode. To register your Kirio Control in offline mode, click the register button under the license tile. No connectivity testing is required because we will import the license offline. Click the escape button. Click the Browse button and select your license. After you have selected your license, click the Next button. Here it says you have successfully completed the licensing of Kiryu Control. Click the Close button. Here it will show you the license number, the company that you have bought the license for, the number of license, the product expiration, the software maintenance expiration, and the active users or devices along with the antivirus and curio control web filter is attached to your license or not. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Till next video, have a nice day.